doing interviews is what I read. So really? that too much attention on you. Is it true? I, don't, I think that was just part of the whole rumor mill. Um, I think it's easy for people to point that, um, you know, to say that, that that's where everything stemmed from. But honestly, like that's been going on since day one, and we've kind of just always dealt with it. And I think I think if it bothers anyone, it bothered me. Uh, more than I did the guys, so I don't know. I mean, we're just you know, at, at a certain point, you get tired because we're because we're people, and like we, you know, this is this is what we love to do. But at some point, if you if you overwhelm overwhelm yourself with it, just it becomes just like any other job. And so we um we needed to take a break. We needed to go home and and remember that we're just normal people. We're not always paramour. How long was that break for? Yeah, a month. Yeah. And you guys came back and you're good and resume the tour, the riot tour. Yes. Going through what, September? Yeah, well, uh, I guess it's the first week of September. Mm -hmm. And you've yeah. been touring before that. You guys met in high school, right? Yeah. yeah. Zach wasn't even in high school. I've never been in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Did you learn like diesel mechanics or anything oh, fun? Did you learn to train? Oh, I overthought it. Like, I was too smart. Really? <laughs> too smart for us. Zach, eight times eight is what? What is eight times eight, Zach? I don't know. Alright. <laughs> yeah. How did you answer it, Mr. 64, dude. <laughs> yeah, good. Me how to play song, you know? Okay. I can't. I'll ruin everything. Well, I'm glad. But I'm glad that music is your strong point, man. I'm happy about that. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Yes, and I was on my way to the buffet before we did this interview. Oh, so <laughs> the, time, so the minute we get done, I swear to God, it will happen that way. Okay. Riot's been out for over a year now, and it's got a lot of longevity. It reminds me of No Doubt's Tragic Kingdom that was out for like three years, and singles just kind of popping off of it. <laughs> yeah, uh, we, we, I don't know. I didn't think the record would last this long, to be honest. No, no band uh, gets to gets to put out a third single these days. We're just really lucky and really stoked for That's What You Get. It's, Seems to be doing pretty good. Absolutely. Yeah. I, a lot of people love the revenge factor because that applies to so many things in people's lives. Like, my boyfriend sucks. <laughs> That's what you get. My mom kicked me out at age 15. That's what you get. There's so many people. <laughs> it's awful. What? <laughs> it's true. Yeah. That's exactly why we wrote the song. <laughs> yeah. I, I what was the reason behind that song? Um, it's actually a song. I, I'm actually talking to myself a little bit. Um, it's, it's sort of about when you make decisions um, on impulse based on emotion and you get burned by it and I'm the kind of person that does that a lot um, I like to you know I, I can be really passionate about things and I think I think it's it's not just me like all, all five of us like we're just really passionate people and we've been burned by um, just our emotions kind of getting the best of us sometimes and I think anyone can, can be in that situation so the song like I think everyone can relate to it, um, and I'm saying that's that's what you get when you let your heart win over your brain. Happens many times. Yes. Yeah, Is so that what we're gonna hear right now? Let's do one hundred. Yes, let's do this. Yeah.